Yo, coaching the fight here. Looking at Shadow Man, he kind of short today. I guess we didn't wait until almost high noon to actually shoot this video. I guess if we were at high noon, Shadow Man wouldn't even exist. Let me get out the road here for this car come. But anyway, we're talking about the rapture and whether the rapture will occur today. And I know we're late putting this video up, but I wanted to bring this to you guys' attention. Um, you know, people who, you know, always talking about the rapture, they always talking about feast days when they're talking about the rapture, talking about the Lord's feast that you read about in Leviticus chapter 23. Um, every time, you know, one of those feast days come around, people start talking about the rapture, whether it be Pentecost or Tabernacles or whatever. And here, you know, on this channel, we keep the feast days and, you know, we actually do what it's supposed to, what it say do in Leviticus 23. So we don't mind, especially me, I don't mind when these guys, um, start talking about feast days when it comes to, you know, the, the uh, so-called rapture, because I, I believe it draws people's attention to the feast days, you know, whereas, you know, they may not never pay attention to any of the feast days in their entire life, but because of the so-called, you know, uh, rapture watchers, um, these people will be mindful, at least mindful of the feast days. And I believe that, you know, some of these people are the father's chosen seed who are just caught up in these different churches and religions and stuff. And when they hear about these feast days, I believe it'll, you know, spark something in their heart where they'll actually want to perform these feast days, whether it be uh, drinking wine and on Passover, or whether it be, you know, getting the leavening out of the house during the Feast of Unleavened Bread or, you know, whatever it is, you know, they'll want to keep these feast days even though they are thinking about the rapture. Well, the thing is, They've forgotten about some days. Um, actually, today, we're waiting on the verification of the new moon. Um, it, we think it's going to be tonight based on the calculations. It could be tomorrow night, but we think it's going to be tonight. But when we see the, the new moon, the next new moon, that is actually what's known as the day of remembrance. Now, let me jump over there and let me show you some scripture right quick. We're going to come over here to the book of Jubilees. Of course, we got to go to the apocryphal books. Um, this is actually one of the hidden books. You might not find this one in your apocrypha. You have to go to the hidden books. But when we come down to Jubilees, chapter 6 and verse 23, it's talking about these days of remembrance here. You see, it's four days. They fall on four um, new moons, new moon days, when, when the sun and the moon um, um, converge and create this monthly uh, dance that they do, that we call the new moon. Um, Four times in a year represent the four seasons or bring on the four seasons. And that's what these days are. Um, if we see the new moon tonight, it would actually be the official first day of summer. The official first day of summer. And that's what these days of remembrance are about. It's about remembering the the um, seasonal days, actually appreciating the fact that summer came in. Now, I know that man decided that summer was um, months ago. Yeah, a, a month ago, he decided it was in June sometime. Um, he does that every year. I think he says June the 20th, no matter what. But when it comes to the sacred calendar, we have to wait for the new moon um, that comes after June 19th to declare the day of summer. That's how summer works. You, you After June 19th, you look for the first new moon. It's like Passover. After, um, Mar after March the 18th or March the 19th, you start looking for the first new moon in order to find out when Passover will be 14 days later. Well, that's the same thing with every one of the sacred months. They start with the new moon. Well, the interesting or the, the, the important thing is that there's four times in a year when we're supposed to have these special days of remembrance. These four days of remembrance that's talked about over in the book of Jubilees that Moses was talking about over here in Jubilees. Um, you see what Moses, I mean, you see what Noah did with these. He actually turned them into feast days. And that brings me to my next point. We, we're realizing, oh, some of you guys, for the very first time that um, to the, the, the 
first day of the fourth month is the day of remembrance, the first day of summer. So, and we're looking here that Noah actually turned this into a festival day. Him and his sons actually kept this day so they would remember it. So the question then becomes, okay, how are we actually going to celebrate this day? You know, what are we going to do in celebration of this so-called day of remembrance? Well, you know, I had a few ideas here. You know, we're used to pagan holidays. So maybe we could actually, you know, think about the pagan holidays like Thanksgiving and the 4th of July or maybe our other fav favorite pagan holidays when we used to keep those and actually, you know, have a festival, a hybrid kind of festival, some some something that we will do in that in that manner. Uh, Thanksgiving, because we're remembering the father and, of course, um, uh, 4th of July only because it's summertime. This is the first day of summer. But, you know, we could do anything. I think um, when you look over in uh, Jubilees chapter seven there, you'll see that Noah and his sons drank wine on that day. Now, uh, one of his sons, Ham, got on got in trouble during that event. So I don't know if we want to drink too much wine, but um, that's actually a possibility. But the thing is, we don't want to forget these days. And I'm looking back over here at my list to make sure I haven't forgotten anything else we wanted to talk about. Um, but, oh, yeah, well, um, guys who love the rapture. If, if you love the rapture, you want to if you if you plan on going away from on the rapture, why do you even want to be raptured? Why? Why would you want to be raptured? I mean, think about it. Who's all going in the rapture? All of the churches going in the rapture. Every Gentile is going in the rapture. Every Tom, Dick and Harry in this world is planning on going in the rapture. People who really only think about feast days. On, on on the days of when people are talking about rapture or planning to go away in, a, in the rapture, everybody is going away. Seven billion people, the way I calculated, over seven billion people are about to go away in this rapture. So my question is, why would you want to do that? That's that's like the minimum. That's like um, that's like the, the consolation prize. The, the thing about it, guys, the earth is up for grabs. Those people who survive the tribulation will actually inherit the earth. Those people that survive the tribulation will actually inherit the earth. They get to own the earth. And, you know, people who talk about the rapture all the time, they say stuff like, um, I don't I don't know why I don't want to go through the tribulation. Guys, let me show you another scripture that the Lord just brought to our attention here not too long ago. And that is that Jacob's trouble is over. Jacob's trouble is ended. We're going to go to the book of Daniel. And I'm going to show you right here. I'm not going to do all of the math for you because, you know, we've done this in uh, probably a dozen videos where we've actually looked at this here. But you look at this here, these Daniel verse 11 and verse 12, where it's talking about Jacob's trouble. You can read about all of that, and how it starts up here in verse 11. You can pause the video and read that if you want to. But it starts here in chapter uh 12 verse 1 starts talking about it and you, you can read all about you know some of the things that are happening but then when you get down here to verse 11 is when it starts talking about the timing of this event and you see there in verse 11 it starts talking about the start of it with the abomination of desolation well the thing about it the abomination of desolation is already in place you know it's the mother guys that's you know acting like it's going to be the lawless one or the antichrist or whatever this is a building that he's talking about this is the dome of the rock and it's already in place so that started jacob's trouble is my point that started jacob's trouble there when you do the math on that it, it comes out to be about uh, 685 a.d when you do the math on that um but when you add these other days here that's talked about in um uh, verse 12 you see that that's a blessing so that means jacob's trouble is over this ends up to be about the year 2022 early january or something in 2022 the way i calculate this so that's the end of jacob's trouble that's the year when we start to get this blessing so for all of those people who say you know i don't want to be here for jacob's trouble well you've been here for it you you've actually been in jacob's trouble they took your calendar away they put you in slavery they killed you they killed all your um your your um disciples there well shadow man let the battery go dead on the phone and then it started raining on us but that's okay we'll just move inside to finish up this video now here is a chart that we created to show the timeline of Daniel chapter 12. So you can follow this and see how we end up in about January the 13th for 2022 for the end of Jacob's trouble. But my point is, 
the point of this entire video is these days of remembrance and all of the feast days for that matter but particularly the days of remembrance because they are the days that's most often forgotten in fact this may be the only channel that you hear talking about this day of remembrance that starts tonight January the 10th if we see the new moon through all of this rain and clouds and it'll be during the daylight hours of tomorrow this is when we'll have our celebration our festival for the first day of summer so I really just want to bring your attention to that will the rapture occur tonight well I don't think so but I do know for sure that those who inherit the earth will be those who remember the days of remembrance and with that I'm gonna say Shalom